Collect, compact, condense, then gloss. Just a few of many steps that go into the making of an eco-friendly surfboard. So this is the Mass Mini Simmons. Look closely at this board and you can see how it got its name. Ever since COVID, you see these disposable masks all over. 19-year-old Ford Roll of Burbank had a thought. What can we do to keep these out of the landfill? He started picking up discarded masks and took them to work with him at Earth Technologies in Torrance. They were housed along with used gloves, coffee cups, and all kinds of trash destined for the company Shredder. That is our shred. Ryan Harris is owner and designer in chief. We make eco friendly surfboards with a zero waste initiative. Ryan says surfers are often the first to notice trouble in the water and the universal symbol of COVID. You're starting to see these masks absolutely everywhere in the ocean. It's a new pollution problem. Earth Technologies takes trash, whatever its form. And we've upcycled this into really cool little red sustainable products. This coaster is made from the same garbage resin blend that coats the company's custom boards. If you think about surfboards, the resin, that's plastic. So surfboards are plastic machines. And in this case, complete with fins made from plastic straws. I wasn't going to build surfboards. It was not on my radar. That's something I found later in life. Ryan got his degree in product design, then went to work in the sneaker business. Before long, I fell in love with surfing and eventually found my calling. Of all the STEAM disciplines, surfboard making leans most heavily on technology, engineering, art, and math. Specifically, angles and curves derived from nature's Fibonacci spiral. This is the math applied to surfboard design, but applying proven sacred geometry. Ryan says for a surfer to succeed, the curve and balance of their board has to be in harmony with the curves and forces of a wave. Ford, a surfer who started out here sweeping the floor, now runs the machine that gives these boards their precision. I've kind of worked my way up. These are all masks that I picked up off the side of the road. With demand for the mini mask board soaring, Ford is now contemplating a career in business or design. This is my little logo that we slapped on there. <laughs> Ford's boards. His advice to aspiring eco surfboard makers, get comfortable with numbers. There's math that goes into everything, the ratios that you have to use. And find a way to get close to what you love, even if it means starting out doing a job that you hate. I was sweeping the floor for months. <laughs> Bottom of the totem pole, and you just can't think that you're better than that.